and welcome in today. So today we're doing this painting, painting the scene here from the show Teacher's Pet. So Teacher's Pet was a cool little show I used to watch back in the day when I was a little boy growing up. Um, it was a cool show and it's from an artist called Gary Baseman. He's an awesome artist who has this very interesting style. He pulls a lot of the noses out, he kind of pushes some of these face features, um, and he has a unique kind of interesting style. He has done a few other things in the past, including a game from Hasbro called Cluedo. Um, I think it was Cluedo, it was the one where you had to kind of create stuff and, and draw stuff at times and he did some of the characters on the box and, and things like that which was really cool um but it's quite interesting because um he has a kind of i guess a darker um style to his to his uh kind of look to things which was really interesting for this cartoon it worked really well um but it wouldn't work for a lot of other cartoons but it's really interesting his style and you know some of his normal paintings are, are quite different to what you see on the show still the same style but um a little bit more darker in, in kind of the material i guess um but he's a really awesome artist he's worked on so many things and he's huge inspiration to me so doing one of his kind of um creations because he helped create this show here um really does you know give me a glimpse of what his style is like and understanding it a little bit which in in theory in, <laughs> in the later run it does help me out because it shows me um you know what his style is like and how he uses color how he uses shape how he uses um tone and everything like that how it's used in this scene um how the characters are pushed and pulled and all that stuff um so studying a little bit of his work um is really helpful studying any artist's work that you look up to is really helpful because it doesn't form you know what their style is like what they do and it, it really shows you like what you can um achieve and you know what you can use in the future to um better your understanding of of your style um and better understanding of how you can paint things um as well as this was a scene where a lot was going on i chose a scene specifically where i tried to have more characters in it rather than just like one or two characters i wanted to i wanted the cat in there somewhere so you know i, I really would have liked a scene maybe where you see a little bit more of the cat maybe i could find another scene where you see another bit of the cat and do another painting like this um from teacher's pet another teacher's pet painting um, but this was lots of fun to just create this. Surprisingly, it didn't actually take me too long to get a good, um, kind of a good, uh, start on this, um, scene. To actually make this scene, you know, it didn't really take long to get everything down. Um, so that left me with a lot of time to kind of fiddle with things and fix things up that I made mistakes on um, to try and get the tones right um, to try and get the feeling of the image right that left me a lot of time which is um, surprising usually with some of these paintings I'm still trying to figure things out um, but it's good that I can do that I can get you know the main gist of the whole image down within 20 minutes or something like that i think it was about halfway 30 45 minutes by the time it was like what do i do now um <laughs> um i was kind of i had the gist down within 20 minutes and the next 20 minutes i was just putting all the colors and placing everything um obviously there are still mistakes in the end um and that was down to just not being 100% accurate. Um, 
with this drawing in particular. Um, but, you know, being 100% accurate isn't the most important thing um, when illustrating or creating something. Um, I mean, it, it is if you're copying. Um, for me, I'm copying. <laughs> so, you know, um, but um, you want to be as accurate as possible. Um, and it, it, probably the 90 minutes that, that does that, where, you know, I just leave things, I'm like, oh, I, I don't have time to fix this. Or if I do notice the mistake, it's too late within the painting, it's like, I've only got like 20 minutes to fix it up, and it's like, whoa, you know, <laughs> with 20 minutes, you know, it's like, do I want to risk trying to fix this up and making it look bad, you know? <laughs> that kind of a feeling. Um... But with a little bit more time, it does give me that kind of leeway where it can be like, okay, I've, I've, I can f start fixing this up. Um, I think, again, getting into some details and things like that isn't so important, like cleaning up a little bit more. Um, the one mistake I think um, is pretty obvious is the box there, trying to get that drawn in perspective right. Um, and really, that would have took me another ten minutes just to do that. <laughs> so I could have, I could have spent the time trying to get that right. Um, but it didn't seem as important at the time. Um, but I feel like I've achieved something here, at least. You know, taking something away, I might not have the most accurate um, painting in the world, um, as well as scale. I've got a few scale problems here. Um, the bird is not as big as I painted it, um, and I think the cat is a little bit, kind of, a little bit smaller squashed, um, in height, yeah, in height, and the box. I think those are the three major issues that I see right off the bat there, um, but the rest of it's not too bad. There is a few space spatial features in the face there that I see, and these are really nitty, nitty picky um, things. But you know, really, these nitty picky picky little things can um, really push out a painting. Um, if I was to edit it further, if this was like for the actual show. Um, I would have to edit it further, <laughs> kind of a thing. Um, there's no clients for this, there's no, you know, um, it's not, so, you know, I'm not going for perfect here, but still, you want to give it your all, um, and it is really helpful, this is a learning experience, you got to go through this, you got to go through, um, some failings, <laughs> some fails, and some mistakes that you make and you just note them down and whether you have time to fix them or not um it's up to you it's up to you know it's good to go back and then fix mistakes and um see if you can fix them because that you know that's the next step can you fix them or how do you fix them you know um for instance like a metal or something might not look like metal but how do you render that you might not have the skill yet to render that properly um but it, it only takes a little bit to learn you know a couple of hours four or five hours to to learn something like that you might not get the whole grasp of it but you start um it really helps you in the future so that's me creating this piece here from teacher's pair i've hopefully you've enjoyed seeing me paint it and you have fun watching the show or you know painting scenes from the show and that's a lot of um creators used to do that is watch tv and and draw and paint the things that they saw <laughs> um so it's awesome keep creating keep drawing and see you in the next video